Okay, those who've been following me know I've been looking at this for a couple years now. They've got it figured out. Here's how I think it's going to play out. Uh, what tipped me off to the last part was when uh, the Antichrist, Barack Obama's, uh, one of his gurus was, was leaving, retiring, and he said the one regret that he had was not disclosing the truth about aliens because the world deserves to know. And I, I did a video on that. But here's how I see the whole thing playing out. After the rapture, I see an actual alien showing up at the UN. Of course, the alien's a demon. Shows up at the UN. He gives advance notice. He's going to show up to the UN to speak. And he's going to actually say what happened to the Christians. So, of course, all the world leaders will be there. The Pope will be there. Everybody will be there. He gets up in front of the UN. Starts talking about the Christians had to go because uh, we were a uh, hindrance to the world. We were evil. We were trying to to stop the you know the the reclamation of the world that needs to happen. Blah blah blah. Whatever his word is. And then I believe he will point right to Barack Hussein Obama and tell the world that that is his God. Okay, and that will be the genesis of Obama taking over as the Antichrist. And then I believe Obama will come out and say, well, you know, I couldn't say it before. People were right. Uh, I don't really have a birth certificate. And you know why? Because I'm God. And God wasn't born. doesn't have a birth certificate. He'll say, I couldn't say it before because it wasn't time. I had to wait until uh, this. we got rid of these evil Christians. And now the time is here. We've got it down. And this is what's happening. And the world's going to be so hurting from... Losing husbands and wives, daughters, sons, brothers, sisters, babies, infants, little ones. I think babies that are actually unborn will be gone. And they will need, they'll clamor for any kind of, of, of excuse they can get. And they will see an actual alien for the first time. And they'll just lose their minds. And I believe that's going to be the beginning of it. And then Obama becomes Satan incarnate. And Pope Francis becomes fully possessed by Satan. And then, of course, Satan himself, the unholy uh, trinity. I believe he'll get 12 disciples like Jesus had. And I believe he's that's going to be the whole way it's going to all go down. And I looked at the news today, tried to get information for videos, and I had to just I had to just turn the news off off online because there's just so much happening. My, my brain is blown right now. I'm already feeling bad, but I couldn't even pick. I, I can't even pick anything today to do a video on because it's just so enormous. Things are happening so fast. You need to wake up and understand how close we are to the imminent rapture and understand that most people are going to be left behind, including most Christians. You know why? Because they're too proud, cocky, haughty, and arrogant to repent. They won't believe what the Bible says, at least 250 times that I've found, that you have to repent of your sins after you're saved if you want to go to heaven. i got all the scripture, it's also commentary, a six-year-old child can understand and mess me for it. I have all the proof, the rapture's pre-tribulation, and I've got this also commentary as well, that a little child can understand and mess me for it. But if you don't mess me for it, and you're not ready, you'll be here for seven years of hell on earth that just will just tear this world apart. About two-thirds of the population will die horrific, terrible deaths like you couldn't even imagine. Men's hearts will fail due to fear. If God didn't intervene, no flesh would be left alive. In the box below the video title, I'm putting my prayer in six vital next steps. If you've never been saved by Jesus Christ's precious blood, pray that prayer as soon as the video is over because no one's guaranteed any more time in their life. In that same box, I'm putting my Tribulation Survival Guide video. It tells you how to be saved during the tribulation and what to expect. If you want me to pray for you, contact me. I pray for you every day if you ask me to. And my friends, Christians, keep witnessing and praying. Keep telling them the truth. If they won't, they won't listen, it's between them and God. And share this video as many as you possibly can. Have a blessed day. And take care. We fly soon. Bye.